Hi, my name is Alyssa Rizzo, and one of the questions I'm asked most frequently is how I decided to become a funeral director. Um, two things here, timing and experience. Um, experience being the most important one. I suffered the loss of two important people, and their services were just so different. And it always stuck out to me, um, the difference that um, a kind and compassionate director can make to a family. I do know that when I saw my aunt at her visitation, and she had... Um, the last image I had seen, I had of her before going into this visitation was that she, you know, was less than 80 pounds and she was so ill. And I, I remember that all she wanted was just, you know, her haircut. Um, cause she had never been, uh, without a haircut for so long. So when I saw her at the visitation, um, her cheeks were full, her hair was done to her signature style. And, um, it was just a nice reminder to my family that she was no longer suffering. So, I knew that if I could somehow make a family feel the way that I felt, um, I would really feel, be fulfilled. So anyway, um, but I never, uh, I didn't pursue it right then. Um, I had been bartending for eight years and I was very nervous to leave the service industry, um, but the pandemic kind of gave me that extra shove. So um, two days after the shutdown, I did work with Aldi, um, realizing that it wasn't my dream job, um, I gained confidence in myself to, you know, go ahead and make that jump. So I reached out to a local funeral home asking um, if they would like some extra free help. Um, I volunteered on my days off from the grocery store. And then a week later, they offered me a position. So um, with that, I applied to mortuary school. I have been working there full time since December of 2020. And... Um, now I'm in my second semester mortuary school applying to scholarships. So I thank you for your time and consideration.